welcome back for another video. This is going to be my uh, mid-year techokaigi. Uh, I know this is about the time where people start reevaluating their system or checking in to see where everything is and uh, you know your your thoughts you might have about it and I wanted to share mine as well since we're almost in July I did a Tetra Kaigi back in December and for the life of me I cannot remember what all was on that video because um, not many things have actually changed. Um, I think the number of things has definitely changed, but not many of my structural elements uh, have changed. So let's take a look at all that I have here on the table. So you'll see I have a little pile of little things, a pile of medium-sized things, and then this pile here of larger things. Let's get the larger things and the medium things out of the way. So the first thing you'll see is I have a little Nano from Chic Sparrow, my version of a Nano that Brie at Documented Journey made. Sorry, there's a cat here. And a passport size from Brie at Documented Journey. I do know that most of this year and last year, I used a passport size of some variety and and make as my wallet. Either my Foxy Fix, a Chic Sparrow, a Traveler's Company, or even one of mine from Brie. And in it, it's just your standard dark brown cork cover. And it has the full pockets. And in it, I have a Planning with John passport calendar for the year. This is available on my Patreon. I'll link that down below um, where you can get digital downloads of cover designs, cover designs, cover designs, um, calendar inserts, and a variety of other inserts in a variety of sizes. But I've been using um, a my monthly calendar to keep track of my appointments, um, to insert little new washi tapes I get, to keep track of any bills I have, um, you know, like what you know you use a monthly calendar for to track your month. And here we are in June. So I've been using that. I have a Moterm it's a zipper pouch, kind of in the style of the um, Traveler's Factory for Roof, where I keep my vaccination card when I'm using this as a wallet, um, and cash and coins, and I think there even might be like stickers and post-it notes and that fun stuff in there. Um, but then I also have one of my Planning with John Patreon passport dot grid inserts that I don't have anything written on. This is just a traditional copy paper. You know, I use it for notes on the go, for things like that. And then at the beginning of it, I do have a writing board, and then I have another one of my covers that I designed in a dot grid insert. And this one I've been tracking off and on, like what I eat and drink in a day. Uh, while I was using the passport size. I'm not using this at the moment because um, now that it's summer, I'm not needing a on-the-go calendar like this. So it's sitting at home. I'm still updating the monthly calendar because I know come like end of August, beginning of September, I'll need to have something like this with me. Um, but for the summer, I'm using something a little bit smaller. And that is my Chic Sparrow Nano. I don't have many Chic Sparrow items left. Um, this is, when I bought this, this was Mr. Darcy in the 
buttered rum. And it now looks like the color of toffee, but I don't know what they call it now, but you can see it was a lot lighter when I got it. I got some gift cards and my AAA card in there, um, like my dentist and stuff like that there. I have a like a card holder insert um, by Keely Reichman in Odd Girl Journals. It's the Trader Joe's bag with the, the sun and the boats and all that stuff. I, I think it might be you can see the boat there in the Seattle. Um, but I keep all of my cards in here. And you can see I have an old Chic Sparrow insert. They don't make these anymore, and it's just a, a lined insert. And um, we've been thinking a lot about our um, diet that we have. And I was writing down, like, just general things that, in a pinch what I could make for breakfasts and lunches and dinners. And then this will be for like grocery shopping. And then I just rip those pages out because, you know, not really necessary to keep them, but it's an old Cheeks Barrel insert. And so this is what I've been using for my wallet because it is so tiny. I can just slip it in my front pocket, grab my, my iPhone, which is up here recording and that's all I need on the go. But I wanted to have Brie make one. Um, and it's, it's, it's just a smidge taller. Um, but I wanted to have her make one in that, what color? That um, goldenrod and then that evening blossom or bloom with a side pocket. So when I do use this as a wallet, I can put cash or a receipt in here quickly and then bundle it up and it'll be ready to go. I don't have much in here. I've got a Tomoe River Paper Grid insert. I've got a, another Tomoe River Paper Grid insert. And this is a monthly calendar from Paper Penguin Co. And then another one of Keely Reichman's like cards, the zipper pocket, more her traditional style. And this is going to be a One Book July project. So you got to see a quick little preview. So that is my tiny items. What I was using, what I am using. I've actually reduced the size. So there's that little stack. Now, these are my standard size Cork Folios by Brie at Documented Journey. Um, this one, I used, I designed this layout of the goldenrod and the, the bloom, which is the same bloom as this. And when I did that, so many other people started using this combination. And I love that because I'm such a fan of these like mustard colors and olive colors and like, I even think the bloom on the olive would look good, like, as a pocket, maybe. Something I might do. Um, but I was so, so excited that people started to do that. So this is another notebook by Brie. Um, and I, I've, it's like my, these two are my newest ones. Um, but this is my planning system, and it has not changed at all this year. I've been using it and loving it. So I do have my Patreon exclusive monthly calendar as the digital download. Where I keep track of our bills. I've got to update the electric bill. But um, it's a monthly calendar where I've, I've been kind of having fun decorating it with PET tape and washi tape and all of that fun stuff. Um, so there's the monthly calendar for the year. And um, this is also a, another important thing in my planning. I've been using this design of an insert since I got my first Traveler's Factory. Actually, it was a Midori one back in 2013, 2014, where it is your... Let me open to one that isn't filled in so you can really see what it looks like. 
It's a week on one page with, I make dot grid, but the original Traveler's Factory or Midori has grid. And it's what um, the Hobonichi Weeks is, but Traveler's Factory was doing that before Hobonichi was. Um, but I've been using this to track things, um, job stickers, um, to keep track of my days and my weekly to-dos, um, or tasks or notes. Let's see, this was last week. Here we are this week, and I've been just using different washi tape and some stickers, and, and I have my bookmarks from Charmed Goods that I've been using. Um, so these two are exclusives to my Patreon. And then this up here at the front is another uh, grid insert. This was also on my Patreon as well, my grid insert. And I just use it for notes. Um, like I even used it when I was designing this so I could plan it out and take a photo and send it to Brie. I've got um, my brother from his funeral in December. So yeah, so this is my planning system and it hasn't changed at all for years. I need a monthly and I need a weekly. And if I do need days or something else, I can do that in my notebook as well. So there is that. And then I'm using the exact same setup in here to track everything that I do on Patreon and YouTube. So I have, you'll see, a monthly where I track everything that I do on Patreon. Sometimes I go crazy with stickers. Sometimes I just put one little thing of PET tape. Here are lots of PET tape. Here are just some stickers, lots of washi, some washi. I don't think I've done July yet. Yeah, I haven't done anything other than mark the full moon on the 13th for the new moon. Yeah. So, and then here's the weekly, which I do the exact same thing. I just put some fun washi tape and it ends up being different than what I do in my personal planner. So it's, it's lots of fun. And then sometimes I don't, I just use pen. No big deal. And then that's my planning system. And then I keep, I keep a few stickers and some washi tape if I wanna use them in here. Nothing, nothing too fancy. Oh, and I do have another set of those bookmarks from uh, Charmed Goods on Etsy. So that's my like planning system. Now, what I have over here is my journaling or like art journaling. I haven't been really journal journaling that much. I have been um, doing more art and I've been doing morning pages for the, um, oh, what is that called? I've been doing morning pages, and my morning pages have just been in a basic composition notebook, nothing fancy. But I've been using this Zen Arts Supplies uh, B6. I know B6, I'm not a B6 person, but this is great for on the go. And in it, I've been just playing. I've been doing some pencil and pen doodles, some studies. I've been swatching most of my items. Those were Uhu markers. These are ink tents, more Derwent ink tents. These are Prismacolor Premier. I've been practicing my sketching, mild liners, been doing some art, emotes, future emotes. More Ohuhu markers, watercolor, and then I've been practicing or planning like sketches. This was for Patreon. It was like a poster for June. Little, just little stuff like this. 
That was really cute. I came up with my own watercolor palette, and then I, I haven't used it much since I did that. <laughs> this was from um, Workshop Week. Some watercolor swatches turned into fish, a little bird, another little, some of my favorite colors. The um, pencils that I picked out of my big set, my Derwent's, Derwent's. My Derwent. This is that little palette you saw. And then I've been mean, just playing with the watercolors and seeing what they do on watercolor paper. Another palette I, I kind of created. And I've been doing a dragonfly I wanted to do. So I've been using this just to like play and experiment. And then I've been using these Canson. Uh, watercolor books and I've been actually doing like pieces or more more finished items in it. I think I've shown some of this stuff here on YouTube. There we go. Moon glow. This is a really fun one. This one I did a test in there. I love that color. Some more fish water uh, samples. This was from Bree's Sketchbook Challenge. Just a, a try at that. And I think that's all I have in here. Yeah, that's all I have in here. Um, so that's where I am uh, in the middle of the year. I've actually reduced the number of items that I'm using that I know that isn't normally uh, an occurrence with me, um, but really when you look at everything I'm using, it's just these five things. My wallet, which I only look at when I leave, and then these are things I'm in daily. This every day, most days, and these when it, the urge strikes or when I'm not busy with a flute. So there you go. I just thought I would share a little uh, mid-year update to my planning system. Um, I will try to link as many of these things as I can. And if you have any questions, leave a comment in the little dooply doop down below. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.